Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone SE first generation, second generation, or even the third generation if you're having any issues with no SIM card, no ser service, searching, invalid SIM, any of those issues with your network, you're going to follow these steps. First thing you're going to do is pull up that control menu and put your phone on airplane mode and then turn it off. So that's going to be a quick thing to do. The next thing you want to go ahead and do is check if there's a carrier update out. So in order to do that, you're going to go into your setting on your iPhone. From your setting here, you're going to go to general and then about. And then wait about 10-15 seconds to see if a message pop up that says carrier update available. And then you click on update. Now, If you don't see update, that means there isn't any update. You're going to move on to the next thing. The next thing is going to be actually going in back here. If you have a physical SIM card, you're going to take that SIM card out and then re-put it back in. So on the SC here, on the right-hand side, you see a pinhole. If you have a SIM ejector tool, it's easy, but if you don't, you can also use a paper clip. You're going to basically pull, push that pin in there nicely, and if there's a SIM card, you'll see it here in the SIM slot. I don't have it on here, but if you did, you'll just go ahead and reinsert it back in, and that's going to go ahead and reinitialize that SIM card if it didn't work. Basically, reinstall it again. Now another thing you also want to do is in your setting here, you're going to go back into general and then take a look at device management and BPN. If you have a BPN on, you need to turn off the BPN as it can interfere with your network. Now if you're still having issues, the next thing you want to do is, again starting from the main settings here, you're going to go to general and then you're going to go all the way down to transfer reset iPhone, click on that and then you're gonna click on reset and you're gonna do a network setting reset. Basically, that will reset the network settings themselves. It will not delete any of your data. Now, after you have done that and you're still having issue, the next thing you're gonna do is go ahead and follow this step here. You're gonna basically quickly press and release volume up, volume down, and then hold on to the side button just like this. So I'll do volume up, volume down, and then hold on to the side button just like that. You're going to wait until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo reappears before you let go of that side button. So as you can see here, I'm holding down here and I'm going to wait for the Apple logo and I let go. Now if you have the first generation SC, you're going to hold both the home button and that power button that's going to be up top here at the same time until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears. Now, this method will not delete any of your data. It's basically forcing the phone to completely shut down and then reload the code. And once you're back on your phone here, this time you're gonna go into your setting and then go to general and then software update and check if there's an update out and you're gonna go ahead and update your phone software if there is an update. So you click on update now. And the last thing you wanna do if you're still having any issues with any of those issues that we mentioned, you're going to contact your carrier to make sure everything on your account is good. Sometimes on their account they might have to activate or resync your account or push something out to make sure the service is working again on your phone. And I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider hitting a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone. We'll see you guys next time.